Greetings one and all, how's everyone doing? Happy Thanksgiving day early. Um, so uh, today is actually Tuesday, I'm doing a little prep work for uh, my meal and I'm going to be making it tomorrow but I want to prep a little bit today and I want to make, um, I want to make cranberry sauce and I'm also going to be uh, washing and prepping my chicken. I'm doing a chicken, I'm going to be doing a whole chicken, potatoes and then stove top because that stuff's just damn good. So uh, let's get into it. And uh, like I said, this video might be a little longer. I warned ahead of time, so I'm gonna try not to get it super long. But if it ends up being like 30 minutes, nah, that's just what happens. But let's uh, drive, uh, jump right into the prep work. Okay. So the uh, directions actually say the ingredients is one cup of water, one cup of sugar, and two cups of cranberries. Well, they can kiss my ass. I'm only gonna use half a cup. Of cranberries because I'm not gonna be making a bowl of sugar also I might be using a cup of water I'm gonna be using um, orange juice and a little bit of cranberry juice this is a uh, diet cranberry juice actually it's cran raspberry it's close enough Let me get that going a little extra moisture, so be it, whatever. Alright, so here's my quarter cup sugar. So if I need more sugar, I can always add more sugar once it's done cooking. Alright. So I'm gonna do a cup cranberries, so Like I said, I'm only going to make a, a half a batch versus the entire bag. So I'm going to have all that left over. Maybe I'll throw a few more in just for good measure. Then what I'll do is I'll just throw them in a zip top freezer bag. And when I want to make them again, I'll just make them again. No problem. Or I can make some kind of dessert. Or I can do really anything I want. And of course the bag doesn't want to seal. So the water's going, so I'll throw my cranberries in. My silicone. Now it says to bring back to a boil. It looks a little white, so we'll get rid of it. Bring it back to a boil and then uh, let it sit and simmer for 10 minutes. All right, so it's just starting to come up to a boil. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it down to medium. And then do the 10 minutes on the kitchen timer, stirring occasionally. And I'll bring it back and show you what it looks like. There's also a little bit of sweetness in the um, cranberry juice and the orange juice too, so I don't have to worry. I'm not super worried about having the, um, how, how sweet it's going to be. All right, so it's 2 minutes, 53 sec, 50 seconds left. And uh, I'll tell you what, it smells really good. And it's thickened up real nice. I know I'm not using cast iron, I'm just using a saucepan, but it smells really good. So I'll have to t I haven't tasted it yet though, I need to do that, see how it's doing on, um, how sweet it is. Alright, so it's got 1 minute 57 seconds left. So let's, uh, let's give it a little taste and see, just for, taste it for sweetness and tartness if there is any. That way, if it, if it needs a little bit more sugar, I can just put a little bit more sugar in while it's still brewing. No, it's great. I've got that little bit of tartness. But it's not coming off like a... It's not coming off overly sweet. It might be just enough for one. Alright, so we're down to 30 seconds. Got a nice thickness to it, which is going to thicken up more as it sits in the refrigerator. And actually, 
it reduced down pretty well, so I'll just go ahead and call it 19 seconds left. Now set in the directions to put it in a bowl and cover and put it in the refrigerator, but I'm just going to do this because it's going to cool nice and fast and I'm going to be good. So, yeah, let's do a, a final little, little sample here. Man. All right. right. So it's the next day. Um, I was looking all over for my, I had some twine that I was going to tie the legs together. Excuse me. And I can't find it. So I guess I'm not tying it together. So let's get the chicken prepped. All right. So it's the next day. Um, I was looking all over for my, I had some twine that I was going to tie the legs together. Excuse me. And I can't find it. So I guess I'm not tying it together. So let's get the chicken right. prepped. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little, uh, with the seasoning that I always use, because why go out and buy new stuff? That way I can um, just season my chicken with a little bit of a blend. This is the same stuff I always use in my videos. So it's uh, paprika, garlic, there's my oven timer, Old Bay. I'm also going to put a lemon inside of it. Ah, I just realized I forgot to buy thyme. That would have been good. So. So there's my chicken. I'm going to rub it with some olive oil. Make sure, yep, you guys can see that. Sprinkle with seasoning. Yep. Backside too. Inside it, just something I saw on TV, so I thought I'd do that. I'm gonna save some of it for later. Oh. If what I've seen, you just open up the cavity and Shove the lemons in. I want to put, tuck the tuck the wings back if they will tuck. phone. Alright. Alrighty, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the uh, chicken in breast side down. And apparently the reasoning for that is it will get the heat to the dark meat that you need and want. And then in 30 minutes I'll flip it over, which I'll show you, and then finish it off. So let's get it in the oven. Put some uh, lemon up inside it. Just something I saw on TV, so I thought I'd do that. I'm gonna save some of it for later. Oh. If 
Well, that's seen. You just open up the cavity and shove the lemons in. Tuck the wings back if they will tuck. My phone. Alrighty, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the uh, chicken in, breast side down, and apparently the reasoning for that is it will get the heat to the dark meat that you need and want, and then in 30 minutes I'll flip it over, which I'll show you, and then finish it off. So let's get it in the okay. oven. So I got 2 minutes 44 seconds on the timer for the chicken. Uh, I got water on and butter for stovetop right here. So we can just get rid of that. Get the bag ready to rock and roll. I have, um, I'm going to be doing an oven roasted potato. As much as I love mashed potatoes, I decided to just do it this way. Got that fresh garlic from the uh, fettuccine video. It's just one potato. Once I uh, take the chicken out and flip it, I'll throw it back in the oven along with, man, all the butter, garlic stayed behind. Something would stick to the chicken, or stick to the potatoes, chicken. Got chicken on the brain. All right, let's get that. Well, let's come back. All right, so we got one minute left. Well, 50 seconds. Pull this chicken out. I'm going to flip the whole thing. Turn it. Pull the pan back in. Alright, see you so in 30 it's minutes. It's literally been an hour. Let's pull that chicken and take a look at it. I also went ahead and added, uh, oh man, it smells awesome. Went ahead and added Brussels sprouts to my veggie. There's the chicken. Let's, uh, let's temp it. I planned on the chicken being out first so I could rest for 15 minutes. Whoops, sorry. While I finish up the um while I finish up the uh oh it's got a ways to go. Well, yeah this hole Yeah, it's got a little ways to go. Dang. Alright. So it goes back in. I was hoping it'd be a little closer than that. Not a problem. With the, uh... Potatoes are getting... Potatoes aren't quite done yet. I can always throw them in for... Warm them back up again if I'm waiting for the chicken. All so, right. <clears throat> so we're three minutes away from 20 minutes. Let's see where we're at. 
temperature wise. Well, it looks really good. Gotta check the temp. That side hit temp. I think she's hitting temp. Sweet. Nice. All right, so what I'm going to do, I want that bird to rest a bit, but not too much bit, because uh, I'm getting hungry. Tried some of the potatoes off camera. Well done. Right, I'm going to try to get this chicken off. Drain away all that juicy goodness. I want to, I want to make gravy out of this. I'm debating if I should stir it or not. The only thing that's been in here is the chicken, or straining. I mean, looks like not a lot of. There should be nothing but goodness in here. Although there are some kind of bits floating around, so I may uh, strain it, put it back in, turn it on, let it reduce, add flour, and then uh, make gravy. All right, so I strained it off camera, and that's the uh, the bits I didn't really want to save in my gravy. I'll put the liquid back in. Should be a little lemon in there, so a little bit of chicken fat and whatnot. And I've got some chicken stock here. Excuse me, which I just spilled everywhere. What do you do with my wooden spoon? Oh, what did I do with it? Well, it's in the sink. That's already starting to... Yeah, that pan is hot, by the way. Get out my flour. So I went ahead and killed the killed the stove. Pull the lemons out of here. Chicken leg. Actually, I want some thigh meat too. Wow, the came right off the bone. <clears throat> Let's see if I can get this 
die off as well. I happen to like dark meat, so... See how that skin came out. Mm. Wow. I don't eat a lot of the skin. I mean, I'll eat a little bit, but... Nice, tender breast meat. <clears throat> Now there's better ways of boning this out, which I may do, I don't know, maybe after I eat, get a chance to cool down. Of course the uneven stove here. Vegetables here. Got my uh, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, and potato. And the floor got its share of potato. Stove top here. Oop, sorry. All right, get some of this gravy all over the all over the chicken. And some on the stuffing. Because why not? Alrighty, put a little black pepper on everything, that's how I roll. There you go, Thanksgiving dinner for one person. I'm going to try some of that chicken and gravy. top and then uh, with my homemade cranberry sauce oh yeah mmm let me go eat dinner because this is tasting really good and I'm dreading the nightmare of cleanup <laughs> all right so needles to say well other than the bone and the skin and you know stuff I'm not gonna eat clean plate but even uh, I ate all the cranberry sauce too uh, it was delicious I was gonna make dessert tonight but I'm uh, full and it's also getting late so I don't wanna uh, eat a big dessert before bed because I gotta work tomorrow and um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bone out the chicken in this video either because the video would just be an hour and so I'm gonna make dessert tomorrow, which I'm gonna tack on the end of this one. I'll probably just run over some quick highlights. Try to keep it as short as I can so the video's not a beast. And yeah. 
Okay, so truth be told, it's actually been a few days. Uh, I was going to make it last night. I was going to make it uh, Wednesday night, but I was full from dinner. Same problem last night. I ate dinner and I was full. So this day I'm going to make dessert first. If I get hungry later, I'll just make a ramen or something simple. So I'm going to be making a pumpkin skillet cake. I found this on, I uh, just Googled it. I typed in skillet pumpkin. This is the recipe I found. Let's, uh, let's get to it. All right, so the vanilla is butter, I mean. It's starting to get there. So to put on low heat and melt it. So this is six tablespoons of butter. You know what I gotta do is I gotta rewrite this recipe so it's uh, in order which it's gotta go in. So, um, it calls for two thirds of a cup of brown sugar, but I'm only gonna use two thirds. And there's also a teaspoon of cinnamon. One egg. Teaspoon of vanilla. And then the pumpkin, which is two thirds of a cup. This is just canned uh, Libby's pumpkin. I'll show you the can here in just a second. I guess I'm, I'm glad I actually switched skillets because there's uh, quite a bit in here. I was going to use my this little guy, but I think I would have crowded the pan uh, badly. So, said stir to combine. I really don't want to run this too long. And of course, everything's going to spill because I'm trying to be careful. Stir to combine, come on, come together. Okay, starting to come together. <clears throat> uh, preheating my oven, which is almost going to be beeping here in just a second. So combine the egg. Go ahead and kill the burner. Combine the egg, sugar, and everything else. Then add the flour. There's my timer. This is one cup of flour. And stir this till it combines. Which I don't. Wow, everything just has to spill out, doesn't it? I think I would have rather just done this in a bowl, just melted the butter, and just poured it into the. I think it would have been easier to stir. Now it's starting to come together. Flour is absorbing all the liquids. And of course I had to... Okay. <clears throat> then it's uh, two-thirds of a cup of dark chocolate chips. I'm going to reserve out just a few. And stir those in. And I'll show you why I reserved out a few. Get that nice and nice and smooth. Smooth as I can. Get a nice pumpkin smell, I'll tell you that. Because I'm gonna take those reserved ones and just sprinkle them on the top. And let's get it in the oven. Should be 350 for 20 minutes. Actually, hang on. All right, what I did is real quick is I just took a paper towel and I wiped off the uh, edge. All right, see you in 20 minutes. All right, timer just went off, so let's get this guy out. It smells really good in here. And I haven't even I haven't looked at, I haven't peeked at this since I put it in, so 
Is it done all the way? It feels kind of soft on top. Gotta poke it with a... Oh, shut up. Poke it with a toothpick. That's it. I don't think it's done all the way. So we'll pop it back in for another few eight minutes. All right, so I just went ahead and pulled it without, you know, opening the door for you. Um, it looks like it's poking, poking clean. I may be done. And I'll uh, we'll let it sit and cool down a little bit before I take a taste, so I don't burn my mouth. Right, so it's been cooling down a little bit, but I can have a taste. Oh man. Man, that tastes really good. Mmm. Man, I'll tell you what. That is really tasty. Mmm. Not, not too sweet because I cut the uh, sugar back. I made half the sugar. Dark chocolate chips. Oh, yeah. All right, well, if you made it this far, I do appreciate you watching. Uh, it's a bit of a longer one than usual, but, you know, it's a special occasion. Because it's uh, Thanksgiving, probably one of my favorite holidays. As always, uh, I wish you a very merry, uh, merry, I wish you a very happy Thanksgiving. And I hope you're sleeping on Friday, because Black Friday, because... All right, thanks for watching. Have a good, have a good one. We'll catch you in the next one.